what we have here on our roof are two different types of solar photovoltaic panels. On the right is what's called polycrystalline, which is a typical panel that is in use today. Next to it on the left, we have a new type of system that uses a concentrating lens, much like a magnifying glass, that concentrates the sunlight onto a smaller surface, a smaller photovoltaic, so that we use less photovoltaic material, but capture the same amount of sunlight. So we're testing those two types of panels to see their efficiencies relative to each other. These are types of panels that a homeowner might use if they want to put panels on their home or in a remote location that might be off the electrical grid. In addition, you might see some instrumentation. For example, at the top we have an anemometer which is measuring some wind speed. We also have a pyranometer which is measuring solar intensity. And these are used to characterize the efficiency of the panels and we can use that to see how efficient they are at capturing the energy in the sun. Next to me over here, we have a type of device that's called a tracker. This is a single axis tracker and what it does is it tracks the sun as it goes from east to west so that the panels are pointing always at the sun. On a static mount, which is what we have on the roof here, you're pointing always south at a fixed tilt angle so the sun as it moves across the sky is hitting the panels at a different angle. With this tracker the sun is always pointing to the panels. The tracker is called a passive tracker in that there are no electronics, no motors, it's all done by just heating and cooling gases which cause the panel to shift by moving the gas weight from one side to the other as they get heated by the sun. Very efficient and very cost effective. On the panels on the roof, this is a system which is typically called grid-tied solar electric photovoltaics. Grid-tied means that we're tied into the electric company's wires so that when the sunlight is on the solar panels on our roof we are producing energy and we're using that energy inside the building to run our computers, our lights. If there's any extra electricity from the solar panels we can sell that back to El Paso Electric at a fixed rate. You can lower your electric bill and even get a check once in a while. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.